Good morning, welcome to the garden. Today I am coming out here to plant another container. I'm really, I'm really excited about this. So I'm actually gonna plant, I'm gonna plant one container and replant another container with some sunflowers, which are super, super fun uh, plants to plant in containers. I, you know me, I love doing like corn in containers, sunflowers, just any of those big field crops. Just because you have a container garden doesn't mean that you can't have like the kind of quintessential big garden um, plants. These are a really pretty one that I'm gonna plant today. They are um, gold coin. So like big fluffy teddy bear style uh, sunflowers. Um, they are gonna be super fun. But what I really liked about these are that they're actually a mini sunflower. So they're only gonna get about 20 inches tall normally. They're not any of those like six foot style um, sunflowers. 20 inches tall, they have the big fluffy you know, fluffy double style heads. And they're only gonna get about two to, to four inch across flowers. So not like the super, again, just it's just everything is mini, not the super um, big flowers, but just like two to four inch flowers. But they are branching, which is a must for me. So you're gonna get multiple flowers off of one plant. And I, yeah, I just thought, you know, with the teddy bear sunflowers, that's such a great like um, big garden look. So why not, you know, get this mini variety that we can do um, here in the container garden too and still have you know all the fun of the big like sunflower impact just in a container. okay so these are already a mini sunflower getting only 20 inches tall they would be super super cute if you did plant them in ground to plant them um, like you know on a border or something or in front of a row of really tall sunflowers now Typically, when you plant sunflowers in containers, I have found there's a seagull flying overhead. I still haven't gotten used to like the seagulls and everything. Typically, when you plant um, a sunflower in containers, I find that they get a little bit shorter than they would. So I've grown like maybe a four foot size um, sunflower in a container. And I found that just because they don't have the root space, I guess, they've gotten a little, um, they've been a little shorter than they typically would be, or I would expect them to be if I planted them out um, in, you know, just in the ground. With these being mini, I'm actually gonna be really curious to see if they reach that full 20 inches or if they're also dwarfed. Every time I've grown a sunflower, either in a container or in like part shade in non-ideal conditions, they've still powered through and bloomed. They've just been like smaller blooms and kind of like more spindly, delicate plants, but they always kind of push through. Like I find, at least for me, that sunflowers are, um, yeah, they're just like a really tough plant and they, they kind of just go getters. So we have full sun here. They're gonna be in full, full sun. I'm gonna put them in as large a containers as I have. I don't have any like huge containers right now, but it does say on the back of this seed that these make a sweet potted plant. So I think they're kind of, being that they're mini, they're kind of designed for like that potted, you know, plant scenario. So it's always fun when you can find container varieties. Um, I'm excited to try these out. Now I have grown these. I stuck a few in my raised beds in my last garden where they had like part shade. I did actually, I got some blooms, just like little tiny blooms off of them, but they did bloom. So we're going to give them, I think we're, I think I'm going to put them just in their own. Well, yeah, pretty much in their own containers. So I've got, here's the situation with the containers. I've got this container over here where I had green beans. Now, I don't know. Some of my certain contain certain potty mixes that I've had have just like not been, I don't know, I've not been having good results. These zinnias, that is crazy for a zinnia to look like that and for the beans to look all depleted like this. It's just kind of wild. So I think I'm gonna empty the soil out, put in fresh soil and then go ahead and pop in a couple of these sunflower seeds. I also have this container over here that I planted with basil and um, cosmos. And like the same thing is happening where the seeds just aren't, 
they're not growing at the speed that they should be growing. They're just barely getting germination. And I don't, I don't know if it's the soil or if it's like I'm somehow they're getting too dry or too hot. It is really, I mean, it's really hot out here. This one, I think I'm going to leave the soil and then I'm just going to put in a couple of seeds and like see what happens. And then I also think I'm going to do one more container with the sunflowers and go ahead and put um, all like all just fresh fresh soil in and just start like completely from scratch totally clean container fresh soil and we'll just see how it goes super easy to plant sunflowers like absolutely nothing um really special about it let me get the let me set up the camera and i'll show you you just pop them in the ground what's the seed depth half an inch you know just the basic stuff all right so this is like an eight inch container so i think i'm just gonna put three in here and hope like maybe I'll put some fertilizer in this container I don't know although I think that sunflowers typically they're just yeah they're a low maintenance plant so they don't need all the like tons of fertilizers and stuff all right there it is we'll come back and water it in Okay, so these are nine inch containers and I put four seeds, which eh, may be a little much, but I'm assuming that not all of them are gonna germinate. We'll see. This, this potty mix already looks so much better. So hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll do well. Okay, and then I'll, yeah, I'll just water them in. I will fertilize these. Um, you know, plant after the last frost. So these are plants that you, of course, can direct sow if you have a container garden. So, of course, if you're new to sunflowers, direct sow them. Direct sowing is fine. Just do it after your last frost. It's kind of nice, you know, in a container garden to have some things that you can direct sow, like that you don't have to start everything inside or buy everything from the garden center. Um, I will say usually sunflowers don't do as well as started, like once they're started plants. Uh, they don't like to be transplanted as much. Like they'll do better if you just direct sow them. That said, I also wanted to sh show you kind of the difference in size of, of sunflowers given the different growing space. So if you remember, I planted two containers with the Sunfinity sunflowers. So the Sunfinity sunflowers, they're a, you know, beautiful uh, hybrid variety. They are going to be a big multi blooming uh, sunflower and I planted so I planted one in this big like raised bag container that I have here and you can see how big and robust it's doing it looks so healthy it's so happy it's just really nice and big and everything now I planted another one in a smaller container and I just wanted sorry, I had to pick this up before it blew away I just wanted to show you like how if you have a bigger container both plants look healthy but the one that I planted over here in this smaller container, it still looks healthy. It's still doing well, but it's just um, not nearly as big and kind of robust and crazy. I don't know if the size difference really comes across on screen, but yeah, there's kind of a big, a big difference. So it's just always interesting to kind of watch how, how that happens. And that's just what I've noticed with sunflowers. Like the more space that you have, whether it's a bigger container or more in ground, the bigger they get. And then the smaller you have space they have, the smaller they are, but they typically still flower. Um, and as long as they're getting lots of sun, I think they'll flower. Sometimes it's kind of fun. Like I've done some really packed raised beds and then thrown in um, some sunflower seeds and like they've come up through the bed and then they've just been like these cute little sunflowers which are you know kind of fun for arrangements or just having out in the garden they're just kind of pretty and and interesting so it's totally an option uh but i i'm i'm excited to test the the, the gold coin in the actual container given that it's kind of designed theoretically for that so we'll see i will say that so i planted the mammoth sunflowers some of those bigger sunflowers out in um in this little like in ground space that I have. I wouldn't try to do like a mammoth sunflower in a container. There are a lot of these little um, sort of like smaller sunflower varieties. You can really find quite a few 
different varieties that fall into this like 20 inches. There's like an elves mix that I think, I think it might be MA Gardener has. There's a few different mixes that have some smaller varieties and yeah, like some of these teddy bears. So those are definitely, I think probably better. Um, like the mammoth sunflower, I, I don't even know what that would do if you planted that really jam packed. I guess we'll, we'll see if I can get it to grow. I'm really hoping that we'll have like these big sunflowers in the back space of the garden here. And then we'll have all the cute little sunflowers like in the containers and the sunfinity sunflowers. Um, I'm gonna have to see, I would love to grow like a micro or like a mini sunflower that was some of those like red sunflower um, tones. Typically a lot of the smaller sunflowers that I found are more in the traditional sunflower colors, which um, of course are gorgeous and definitely lend like, I'm really loving kind of like that, these like farm fresh color and, and theme this year. So it's really like on, on theme, I guess, for my garden. Uh, but I'm gonna keep an eye out because if I can find some like shorter, like those red or kind of burgundy tone sunflowers, I just always think that those are so pretty. I mean, it's nice to have some different contrasts. Um, I know that uh, Proven Winners does the Suncredible sunflowers and they have the Suncredible Saturn, which has like a more um, dark rim around the center. So I may have to keep my eye out for that as well. And I think um, Sunfinity might have one that has like a, um, a deeper ring. So if you're just looking at the garden center, um, those might be some interesting ones to check out. The really like the Sunfinity Suncredibles that are that are made for like the big blooming. I have had really, really good luck. There is something um, sometimes to some of those just like annual style, I don't know, annual bedding plant style sunflowers. It's kind of neat and it's fun that they're doing more things like that with sunflowers because sunflowers are just so, so gorgeous. Um, and then just like such a perfect quintessential part of the garden. It Nothing screams like summer garden more than sunflowers. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you posted on how, on how these grow. Um, and I did end up planting in uh, a few more sunflowers in the raised beds too. I couldn't help myself when I was planting the sunflowers out here. So hopefully we're just gonna have tons and tons of sunflowers in this garden. Um, I'm also gonna plant some zinnias um, today. So I've got some other things to do. Uh, but anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon.